Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Serds video. Today we want to talk about how to add and subtract Serds. Now I'm assuming that you guys have done all the Serds videos, uh, lesson one and two before this one, uh, because uh, I'm going to use quite a few of the concepts that we have already talked about so I hope you have seen them okay so I just want to remind you guys that when you add terms in algebra for example 5x plus 6x because we have x as like terms we can add them so for example here this would be 11x now if you were adding two terms that does not have the same letter after the coefficient then you can't do anything you'll just end up with the same number so similarly with thirds if you have for example let's make x equal to uh, square root of 2 so 5 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2 will just give you 11 square root of 2. So in this case, you can just add the numbers in front of the square root sign, which is uh, very simple. Now the same thing works for minus, so 7 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3 will just be 4 square root of 3 and then you can also have a problem where we combine the plus and minus so we could do 20 square root of 5 plus uh, 3 square root of 5 minus 10 square root of 5 will just be uh, 13 square root of 5 because 20 plus 3 is 23 minus 10 is 13 okay so what if we end up with uh, two thirds that does not have the same number in inside the square root sign so what if I had for example 3 square root of uh, 5 plus 2 square root of 50 now obviously uh, you cannot uh, hang on hang on a second so I've just adjusted the problem a little bit to make it doable so 3 times square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 45. Now 5 and 45 are not the same. But what you can do to the second third is you could simplify it and see if we end up with like terms. So the first step is we're going to do we're going to keep 3 square root of 5 the same plus and then what we're going to do is simplify the number on the inside as uh, 5 times 9 okay so then I can split up the third here so then it'll end up as 2 times square root of 9 times square root of 5 so then the square root of 9 is 3 so then I can write it as 3 square root of 5 plus 2 times 3 is 6 square root of 5 so the answer is uh, 9 square root of 5 so even though the third was not even though the thirds were not like thirds in the beginning I've simplified one of them to turn them into like thirds. Okay, so let's try another one where you guys can have a go. So have a go at this one and come back when you're done. 
So as you can see the numbers 3 and 12 are not the same so we have to somehow simplify the 12 so I have uh, 4 plus 3 uh, sorry so let's turn the 12 into 3 times 4 so I have 4 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 4 times 3 inside the square root so then I have 4 times square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 4 times square root of 3 square root of 4 turns into 2 so the answer is 4 square root of 3 plus 6 square root of 3 and we end up with 10 square root of 3 so we have successfully done this question okay so let's try to do this one where there is a bit more algebra involved okay so we're gonna simplify the terms inside the square root signs so I'm gonna rewrite the uh, a cubed as a squared times a and I'm also going to rewrite the b to the power of 4, a to the power of 5 as uh, b to the power of 4 times a to the power of 4 times a. And the reason is because b to the power of 4, the 4 is already an even number which can be divided by 2, so I'm going to leave that there and the 5 can be broken down into 4 plus 1 okay so now I have 5 uh, times a squared square root times square root of a plus 4 times b to the power of 4 times a to the power of 4 square root times square root of a okay so now I have 5 times now a squared square root just turns into a and then basically we just get the index and we divide it by 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so it's a to the power of 1 and then here keep it the same plus um, 4 times uh, b b to the power of 4 square root so 4 divided by 2 is 2 so it's 4 times b2 times uh, a to the power of 4 square root so that's 4 divided by 2 so that's a squared times square root of a okay so now I have 5a square root of a plus uh, what's this 4a squared b squared square root of a now unfortunately we can't just add them because uh, there's a bit more algebra involved so I'm just going to factorize it so I'm gonna take out the common factors so I have a square root of a that are common factors and then uh, a square root of a times 5 is the first term plus a square root of a times 4 a b squared is the second term so you would also need to know how to factorize to do this question okay so uh, hopefully you guys weren't put off by that one I'll give you one more to do okay have a go at this one and come back when you're done okay so again I'm going to simplify the thirds so I have square root of 48 can be rewritten as uh, 16 times 3 and the a cubed can be rewritten as uh, a squared times a minus 2 times uh, 
b4 b to the power of 4 times a to the power of 4 times a so all the powers are uh, even uh, except the last one where I can't do anything with that okay so now I have the square root of 16 times square root of 3 times square root of a squared times square root of a minus 2 times square root of b4 times square root of a to the power of 4 times square root of a so then I can simplify the square root of 16 into 4 a squared square root is just a so let me write all this down on the second line 4 times square root of 3 times a times square root of a uh, ooh, minus 2 times b to the power of 4 square root is b to the power of 2 times a to the power of 2 times square root of a okay so then again I can uh, simplify the 3 and the a together into one square root so then I have 4a square root of 3a minus 2a squared b squared square root of a so uh, factorizing this then I have 2 bracket 2 sorry 2a bracket 2 square root of 3a uh, minus uh, a b squared square root of a okay so pretty complicated this one I uh, hope you guys were able to do it with a bit of factorizing okay so uh, that's it for today's lesson hopefully you guys understood a bit more about adding and subtracting certs see you guys next time